Hey guys, today's video I'm going to be discussing how to set up your aquarium. The first step is basically the placement of the tank. Um, you do not want your tank placed next to a window or an air vent inside your home. Uh, these things can cause fluctuation in temperature which can be harmful to the fish and the corals inside your tank. Um, after you find a good location for your tank, like I said, hopefully you've seen my previous video where I discussed modifications for the BioCube 14. Uh, but a quick run through with that, like I said, you're going to need your heater, a thermometer, a power head. Hopefully you pick the Vortec MP10, which is shown here. Uh, you're also going to need the intake media basket, which contains the Chemipure Elite, Purgeon, and Polyfiber. And lastly, you're going to need to upgrade your pump to the MaxiJet 900. After you've done all that, the first thing that you're going to do is either make or purchase your own salt water. If you make your own salt water, you're going to need to give it at least 24 hours to acclimate and to get the salt really mixed well before you add it to the tank. The next thing, you're going to need to go to your live fish store and um, hopefully your local fish store has dry rock, live rock, crushed coral, sand substrate, anything that's alive or that you can already take out of an established aquarium. Um, as shown here, I know there's you know, more fish in here and you see the coral there, um, but just focus solely on the rocks and the substrate. Um, when I first set this up, I added about 8 pounds of live rock and roughly 10 pounds of live sand. A uh, good rule of thumb is about 1 pound per gallon of water. Uh, you do not need to go ahead and add 10 pounds of live rock to your aquarium maybe up to even 14 pounds because uh, a lot of times your coral will be already attached to rock when you purchase it so a good rule of thumb just go ahead and get like eight pounds of rock and then as your tank establishes and you start adding coral you will be adding in the other eight pounds or so whatever it is that you want to have in the tank uh, the next thing is you need to purchase Seachem stability this will help your cycle tremendously. You will not notice hardly any ammonia spike, a nitrate spike, or a nitrite spike. Uh, it keeps the bacteria in your tank. You're going to dose it for seven days. Like I said, you will not hardly notice any kind of spike at all, but your tank will fully cycle. Uh, to help with the cycle, you're going to need to purchase a, a blue or green chromus fish along with maybe three crabs and probably three or four snails. Um, I know it seems like a lot, and there's a lot of people that don't agree with adding a fish. They say it's, you know, it's harmful to the fish to put them through the stress of being in the ammonia. Uh, but this is the quickest and easiest way, and in my opinion, the safest way to set up your aquarium. Uh, the stability is a safe product. It will not harm the fish. It will not stress the fish because it will keep all the levels if not a little bit above zero, right at zero. So, th dose that stuff for seven days. Feed your fish like you normally would. Do not overfeed them. Um, and during this time, like I said, you'll see a lot of changes in your tank. Um, you'll see you'll see a slight diatome bloom. Um, a good thing is to keep a magnet cleaner or something to keep your glass clean because the die times will build up over that over the next couple of weeks. Um, the back panel in your BioCube, do not touch that. Um, that will go through a ton of changes. You will see die times build up. You might see just a little bit of green hair algae form on the back wall. Um, but just leave that to your snails. They'll take care of that. And as you see in mine, it will just about disappear. I mean, those snails go to work. Um, and after a while, you start seeing your coralline algae form on the back wall, which is a great thing. It shows that your tank's doing really well. It's good and established. Uh, so, like I said, once you get all your 8 pounds of rock in there and your 10 pounds of sand, and you add your stability in there for about a week, dosing every single day, I think it's about a half a cap full um, per day, uh, like I said, you're going to give it about two weeks. Um, and during this time, you need to go ahead and purchase your API's reef and saltwater master test kits. That way you can keep an eye on your water 
levels. Um, like I said, you shouldn't notice much being that you're dosing the stability, but you might see a slight ammonia spike, which is then, you know, of course, to spike up your nitrites a little bit, and then finally your nitrates. Uh, once all of those levels become zero, then I would recommend doing a slight water change, maybe three to five percent, no more than that. After your first water change, I would go ahead and then add the remainder of your cleanup crew. Um, as you can see here, I went ahead and purchased a goby along with a fire shrimp who's hiding back there under the rock right now. And with the goby, I also purchased a, um, a pistol shrimp, which is his partner in crime. <laughs> so, like I said, after, after your tank cycles, it'll be safe to go ahead and add those items in. Um, I would not do too much at one time though, so take your time, add things slowly. Um, you know, basically after your third week into your fourth week, I would then recommend going ahead and doing your fish. As you see, I've added my clownfish in, and they're doing really well. Um, I also, and I wouldn't recommend doing it, but I also went ahead and purchased a coral just to see how it was going to react in this tank. Um, I, I had this tank set up previously, uh, but I had to shut it down due to a surgery that I had. I couldn't maintain it. So I'm just now starting this thing back up. Um, but as you see, this coral is doing wonderful. Um, it's popping. The colors look great. It's got good movement in there as far as water flow. But like I said, I, I wouldn't recommend adding too much at one time. But you know, once you add your chromus in there to start with and your free, few crabs and snails, you know, give it two or three weeks and then add the remainder of your cleanup crew. Um, like I said, I would just wait a week in between after your cleanup crew, maybe give it a week, maybe even two weeks, and then add your fish. Um, and after you add your fish, I would give them at least two weeks. Make sure everything's doing well, all your parameters are fine. You know, stay on top of your testing. You might even want to dose another week of stability once you add the fish in. Um, that'll help just to make sure that your tank is good and finally cycled. Um, once you notice your diatom bloom, and you'll see it forming, like I said, I've got a little bit on the back wall that you can kind of see right here, um, and along with some coralline algae that's starting to form. But once the diatom bloom goes away, that pretty much represents the end of the um, cycle. So after that time, like I said, just the slower you go, the better it's going to be. Um, I would start with the fish first and then move into your corals. Um, but just take your time with it. Like I said, keep up with your water changes. I would do that 3 to 5% after your cycle ends, and then I would do 10% weekly. And as long as you stay on top of your water changes, everything should be great. You shouldn't have any issues. Um, so just take your time and move slow. I know a lot of people just want to move fast once they get their aquarium set up and you know this isn't like a fresh water tank where you can kind of just jump right into it. Um, a salt water and reef aquarium takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. Um, but the, the longer you wait, the more patience you have, the better the return is going to be for you. You'll have a wonderful tank, it'll be clean, and hopefully everything will live for a long time. So if you have enjoyed this video, I'm going to be posting weekly videos to keep you up to date on how I'm doing with my tank, what I'm adding, um, the, any changes I make. If you like the video, please subscribe, leave a like or comment below. Um, if you know anybody who's got a BioQ 14 gallon, please take the time to share these videos with them and hopefully it will help them set up their aquarium and help them understand what kind of modifications need to be made so they can have a successful tank. Thanks for watching.